Hey, Paige, can we talk about how- Devin! It's really you! Um, Paige, this is Lynette, my fiance that I have. Had had for a while. We're gonna go. Cut! <laughs> <laughs> Surprise, Devin has a fiance, which what? Nope. Did not see that coming. Even I think when we were reading the script, I was like, oh, what? Can I talk to you for a second? Hello? In my room? Uh, sure. As Megan, I really like Forrest and Trin, but they were so good at being disgusting together and she, her grooming him and I don't know if it came across but she's been dressing him so that they kind of match was the idea and it's just uh, yeah I think I'm probably a special case I'm so proud of you to see people that lovey when she's already so shut off and uh, and on top of that it's Devin who, if anyone's gonna be lovey to Devin, it should be Paige, but not like that. And yet she chose Devin. It's my understanding it was an arranged marriage. Whatever, I'm past it. Let's get to the transit station. I wanna get to the arena early, I'm feeling hurty. I think it just goes to show that Devin's life has been laid out in front of him and he doesn't have any choice. So this was a, an arranged marriage that had to do with, you know, family ties and everything like that. You're gonna enter in? You come here? You're gonna, uh, you're gonna sit down right here on your bed? Devin, you're gonna sit right across? Oh, okay. At the very beginning? Yep, at the very beginning, before you say a single word. And then you sit there and stare at each other for a second, and then Devin gives his line. So what did you want to talk about? What did I, are you serious? <laughs> Exactly. Devin is just starting to realize that he might actually have some choices in life, which he never thought he had. And I think Paige plays a big part in, in that choice. You know, what is, does he choose Lynette, who is the person who was laid out in front of him and, and who, who seems to like him a lot, or does he risk everything and, and go for Paige? And it's, you know, it's a really, it's a really tough call for him because, again, he, his family and what's been planned out for him is, all he knows. Do you have laser eyes? No. Can you recite the alphabet backwards? Z, Y, X, W. Never mind. I'm not actually sure how to check. That. Knowing as long as I've known the truth about Tiffany, I just couldn't wait to get to the part where Avery gets to explore this new thing about her friend. The thing that I really enjoy about Avery is that for a second she's worried that somebody hurt Tiffany. And the second that she finds out that that's not the case, she's not she's not shocked that Tiffany's a synth. She's not offended that she didn't know this. She's just upset that she never got to know this thing about her friend. And so I love that she just makes it her goal to learn everything there is to know about Tiffany. They never have a fight or anything about how she didn't tell her. She just sits down and is like, all right, I'm gonna know literally everything there is to know about you now so I don't make this mistake again. <laughs> So, first things first about the encounter that Paige gets to have. It's a fight, which is so cool because I don't have much combat time, uh, but it was really fun. Action! <laughs> And we had to find a space that we wouldn't trip on roots and everything. Um, we just filmed the fight scene. It was pretty cool. Emergency blankets. <laughs> David gave it to me. Fun fact, not just the stunt axe. I can think of at least seven ways off the top of my head to kill a man with this. Or a woman, I mean, in fairness. 